The smoke keeps moving fast, but can't make up its mind on which way it wants to go. Aquarius, welcome to your February reading. In your first house, what I'm seeing is that you're probably feeling like a piece of you is missing. As if you left like a piece of yourself, or like if you misidentify, like... I could even see it as like a breakup, like if you've been in a breakup, if you've been in a relationship and like your identity's been tied to it, and then like it ends and now you're you're left trying to discover like who you are outside of the relationship, I can see that. But I can see like a very warm feeling on the inside, like this is your time to like rediscover who you are as a person. In your second house, I have the Hierophant Reverse. So I can see you giving back money. So like giving money to a church or just donating. That's where a lot of your finances are going. Like really trying to make things right or like giving it to like a better cause. That's what I'm seeing, Aquarius. As far as your third house goes, I have the King of Cups. Your third house is your house of communication. So there could be like a Scorpio... Um, uh, Pisces or Cancer that you're talking to. But what I'm seeing from this is that you probably feel a little bit, you probably feel emotionally drained by people. Maybe you have a water sign friend that like maybe you have a water sign friend that you're not necessarily getting along with. But what I'm seeing is that you're feeling drained, like, emotionally. When it comes to talking to people, like, maybe you're more focused on, like, how you can actually do better for the world instead of, like, just talking about it or instead of, like, um, hanging out with a crowd of people that's like, yeah, we're gonna do A, B, and C, and it's like they're not actually taking action or they're not doing what they can to actually succeed in life. In your fourth house, I have the sun reverse. So I'm seeing, like, you're moving forward with, like, your careers, like, your goals and, like, things in life. And, like, I can see, like, you putting more so, like, your family and, like, friends low on the back burner. Because, like, you're more focused on, like, the work that you need to do. Like, that's more enjoyable for you at the given moment. As opposed to, like, actually, like, solidifying, like, the relationships, like, with people. Like, even with the King of Cups reverse, I can even see, like, you just, um... Since you're becoming, like, so drained by other people, you want to spend more time focusing on what you love and, like, how you can uh, feel more engaged with um, your work and, like, what benefits you, Aquarius. And your fifth house, I have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So, yeah, you're more focused on work. And getting that done. In your sixth house, I have the tower reverse. And what I can see, like, with you being focused on work, like, I can see that as, like, a distraction away from, like, this tower moment. So, like, if you've been through a breakup or if you've been, like, put outside the house or if something happened that uh, led to this tower reverse moment, then I can see, like, you're using work as a distraction in order for you to expand in order for you to have the sun because like even though you're able to distract yourself with work like the feeling is still there but like the more that you work or the more that you um distract yourself like you can you're like slowly overcoming and like erasing that feeling as far as like your seventh house i have the will of fortune reverse So yeah, I see like within a relationship, there's probably like just a lot of misunderstandings or like this is a karmatic cycle that you've been through that's probably played out like over and over again or even just a repeat of like the same uh, mistakes like within a relationship. If you've been dating like uh, very toxic people, I can see you like going through the next toxic relationship you end that relationship then it's like the next one it that they end up being toxic and it's just like the cycle that you're ready to end Aquarius
Yeah, it's like you're done with this cycle. Well, the karmatic cycle is going to keep repeating until you end it, until you decide to let this tower moment end it. As far as like your ace house, you have the seven of wands. So whatever it is that this toxic relationship or like this toxic relationship, this uh, karmatic cycle that you've been playing out over and over again, like you have the advantage, like you you can see like how things are playing out and it's like you know that uh, things are aren't working out for you like you know that um you know that the person is bad for you and it's like you have the advantage like you have the advantage of wisdom and knowledge like you've seen this happen over and over again but like it's up to you like if you want to decide to like keep dealing with that so like it it doesn't even have to be like a romantic relationship it can be even like with friends or like just uh people that you know but like i see you're just done with it you're ready to like sit here on the top of your mountain and just chill like you don't want to have to keep fighting everybody you don't have to keep dealing with trauma like you know what you need to do in order to get in order to expand like in your ninth house i have the nine, the nine of wands reverse and i see you letting your guard down like you want to be in a place where you can let your guard down and not have to struggle or not have to worry about other people's bullshit in your 10th house i have the fool so your 10th house is your house of work and i see you like moving out like moving to a new job or like change of residence or even just like going out of town like for a few days for like business trips I can see, like, this is something that you're looking looking forward to. Like, back to, like, the your fifth house, your, ha your house of play. Like, if you've been using, like, work as a way to distract yourself and have fun, like, if you have a business trip or if you just need some time off, like, or a vacation, like, that's going to be very therapeutic. That's going to help you um, decide, like, on this tower moment. As far as, like, your 11th house goes, I have the Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah, you just want some peace and quiet. You don't want to have to deal with drama. Like, you want to be able to sleep without, like, one eye open. You don't want to have to, like, wake up in the middle of the night and then, like, see your partner texting and then, like, thinking, yo, who's this person texting? Or, like, I can even see, like, jealousy, like, within a relationship that you just don't want to have to deal with as far as like the 12th house goes i have the ace of pentacles reversed so it's like i see it like you know that this tower moment is going to happen or you know that you have to do the tower moment but like you're not necessarily willing to let go of it like you're ready you're a fixed sign just like me you're just just like uh scorpios like we once we decide on something like we want it to work out like we want it to like um go the way we plan we have like this vision in mind but like whenever things don't work out it's kind of difficult to let it go but like sometimes you need to let go of things in order to open the new do more doors for like new things as far as your overall message i have the ego coming as your medicine and what i'm seeing is that like you can fly as high as you want like, the sky's the limit. Like, you can eat... Fuck it, you're a magical eagle. Like, you can fly into space if you wanted to. Like, that's all the room that you have to expand. Space, the sky, wherever it is. You can fly wherever the hell you want, Aquarius. It's just that you have to be the one to decide, like, where you want to fly. Alright, to summarize things, it looks like within your fire sector, it looks like whatever it is that you're working on or you feel like you had to work on, like, you're ready. You feel like you, you feel like it has to come to an end or you feel like you're on the last bit of it. Like, you feel like you can let your guard down if you've been working, like, on a project that you feel like um, has taken a really long time you can finally rest and relax or maybe you've been in like you maybe you've been working on a project or like trying to collaborate with someone and then like you missed out on an opportunity so it's like okay the opportunity i missed out on it and i feel left out of this scenario but it's okay because like 
I know that there will be more opportunities for me. As far as, like, your herb sector goes, what I'm seeing is that, like, if you dropped out of school or if you just, um, left, like, work or if you, um, left something that, where you feel like you had to learn a lot. So, like, if you had, like, a toxic relationship or, like, just someone that you felt, like, was a teacher and, like, you just needed to let go of, it could also be, like, a death of someone that, you know, that, um, that you really looked up to, but either way, what I'm seeing is that you've had to let go of, like, um, of that energy where you felt like you've learned a lot in order for you to expand is, like, you know that it's there, like, you know that you want to move out and, like, reach out for, like, something better, you want to expand for something better in your life, it's just that you need to be the one to initiate it, you need to be the one that's okay with letting go of things, as far as, like, your water sector goes, what I'm seeing is that, like, in order for you to let go of things, like, you need to see that, there's there can be a better future for yourself like it doesn't have to look all bad it doesn't have to be like oh just because I let go of uh, this thing just because I let go of this person things are going to go downhill no you have the seven of wands energy within your eighth house like you know deep down deep down like you know that you can succeed at it and like I see even if you like let go of like this this uh, ace of pentacles even if it's like just an attachment to money or like material possessions like once you let go of it like you'll feel much more empowered and like you feel like i can see like a burden has been lifted from your shoulders and like you can actually relax and take things easy as far as like your air sector when it comes to communication it could be a karmatic cycle that you're having like with a water sign where like it's probably like keeping you up at night or you're probably thinking like should i trust this person do i does this person have my best interest but i can see it like a karmatic cycle of like if you want this to like keep replaying or if you feel like this is just a repeated cycle over and over again of like if this person has like toxic behavior that's been bothering you then like it's up to you to like do what you can to like make sure that you're you're resting properly like if you have to feel like you have to sleep with one eye open because of like whatever this, um, King of Cups energy is, like, someone could possibly, like, be manipulative, or if you have, like, a water sign, a uh, friend, or someone that you know that's, um, been, like, taking advantage of you, or if you feel taken advantage of, then, like, that could be, like, within your, w this will of fortune, like, it's going to keep happening over and over again, so, like, do what you can to make sure that you get a good night's sleep, to make sure that you're taken care of, it doesn't have to end, like, in a, bad like traumatic way just um just chill and like um even with the ego coming as your medicine it's like it's up to you where you need to fly like just worry about like how you're flying through life don't worry about other people don't worry about their drama or getting involved with theirs like you can fly you have the full energy here like especially within your work i can see like you really expanding like when it comes to work so like if that's where you want to expand in, then go for it, Aquarius. Like, you can succeed in this. Alright, that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your February. Have a good one.